you to our second Sunday service of February 2023. This month, we are celebrating love, friendship, and Black history. At Restoration Worship Center, we are a Bible-believing church, and we believe the scripture, John 3.16, that says, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That's right, God loves you, and he wants a lasting relationship with you. So stay tuned, like and share this video, and get ready for God to love on you. Amen. Uh, today I'll be reading 1 Peter 5 in the New Living Testament. In the same way, you, in the same way, you who are younger must accept the authority of the elders, and all of you dress yourselves in humility as you relate to one another. For God opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble. So humble yourselves under the mighty power of God, and at the right time he will lift you up in honor. Give all of your worries and cares to God, for he cares about you. Stay alert. Watch out for your great enemy, the devil. He prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Stand firm against him and be strong in your faith. Remember that your family of believers all over the world is going through the same kind of suffering you are. In his kindness, God called you to share in his eternal glory by means of Christ Jesus. So after you have suffered a little while, he will restore, support, and strengthen you. And he will place you on a firm foundation. Amen. Praise God. Let us stand for prayer. truth. We thank you for mercy. We thank you for who you are, oh God. Father God, we thank you for allowing us in your house yet another Sunday to give you worship, to give you praise, to give you honor. Father God, we thank you. We're forever indebted, oh God. There's nothing we can do to repay you, oh God, for the grace you have bestowed upon us, oh God. Thank you for covering us, oh God. Thank you for keeping us throughout this week, oh God. Thank you, God. You are a great God, worthy to be praised, worthy to be lifted up, worthy to be magnified. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you, oh God. We thank you, oh God. We thank you, oh God. Hallelujah. We thank you, oh God. We thank you, oh God. Father God, we come to give you praise. We come to say thank you. We come to say thank you. Lord, we bless your name. We bless your name, oh God. We bless your name, oh God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We lift our hands and praise. We lift our hands and worship. Somebody ought to give them a hand. Worship him with a hand. Worship him. Lift up your hands.
Jesus in this house. service off with our tithe and the tithe is 10 percent of your earnings amen so if you made a hundred dollars this week you just give god ten dollars and you keep the 90 amen but we want to practice giving god our tithe and at this time um brother zoe is passing out envelopes if you need one and if you want to pay the tithe by um cash app you can our cash app is dollar sign RW Center. Dollar sign RW Center is our cash app. Amen. If you're paying your tithe that way. And if you're paying your tithe electronically, just write on the envelope and put the amount on the envelope and put it in the bucket so we can keep track of, amen, of everybody that's tithing. Amen. This is a tithing church. Amen. All right, all right. I mean, believe in the tithe. I believe in the tithe. Amen. I, I pay my tithe, amen, amen, so I believe in the tithe, amen, once you've got your envelope and once you have filled that envelope out, we're going to stand and we're going to bless the tithe that God has blessed you to give, amen, it's a blessing to give your tithe, amen, and listen, listen, you can do much more with the 90% than you could with the 100%. Give God that 10% and watch your money stretch. Amen. Amen. I'm a firm believer 
that your money will stretch when you give God his off the top. Amen. Let's all stand. If you got a tithe in your hand, just stand. If you're giving it electronically, stand. Let's all stand, whether you have it, whether you have it or not. Everybody just stand because this is worship. This is worship. Lord Jesus, we thank you today, Lord. We thank you for our tithers on this week, Lord. We realize, Lord, that you could do much more with the 90% if we kept the 100%. Lord, we've given out in obedience to your word, Lord. We believe that if we bring our offering to the storehouse, Lord, you will make room for us. So, Lord, make room for everybody that's given on today. Make room for everybody that's given sacrificially today. Oh, Lord, don't let their giving be in vain. Lord, let them see your hand stretching their income. Lord, we're going to enlarge our tents, and we're going to obey your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God and amen. And if you have that tithe, just put it right there in the bucket. Amen. Just walk up here with your tithe. Amen. If you give it electronically, you can just put that envelope up there. Because this is worship. We worship in our giving. In our obedience to your word, Lord, we're giving. We're giving our 10%. Praise the name of the Lord. We thank you. We thank you for your obedience to God's word. Listen, just try it and watch God do it. Amen. Just try tithing and watch God do it. Amen. Amen. At this time, praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Thank you for your obedience and faith in the word. The word will work for you. Amen. Amen. And at this time, we're getting ready to hear the word of God. Is there a word from God? Somebody said there is a word. Amen. We're going to hear from our first lady. She's going to deliver the word on today. I don't, I don't know if we got a solo or not, but if we don't, we're going to move on. Amen. With what we got. Amen. At this time, let's stand. Let's stand and receive our first lady and our speaker of the day. Amen. Yes. Say with me, God bless, God bless. our first lady. Our first lady. Amen. Hallelujah. God, thank God, thank God. He is an awesome God. Amen. Yes, amen. Hallelujah. I give honor to God. I thank God. Let's just pray before I do that. Hallelujah. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your goodness, your mercy, your love, and your kindness. God, I ask that you would word these lips of clay. God, let me say only what you say. Yes. And Lord, what you say is enough. Lord, help me to submit. Yes. God, if you say to go forward, God, help me to trust that you will fill my mouth. Yes, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, bless those that are here, God. Hallelujah. Let this word, oh God, be something that they need, oh God. Thank you. Let this word edify them in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Don't let them leave like they came. Oh, in the name of Jesus. But God, help them to experience yes, you, oh God, through your word. Help them to yes, see Jesus. you on today, God. In the yes. name of Jesus, we pray. And we say thank God. Thank God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, I give God praise on this morning. As I was about to say, I give honor to God. I thank him because he is God. Yes. And beside him, there is no other. 
I thank him because he's my healer. Yes. I thank him because he's my deliverer. Deliverer. He's my yes. savior. Yes. He's my best friend. Yes. Yes. He's a mother to the motherless. Yes. Ask me how I know. Amen. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Because God has been by my side. Amen. These last months. That seemed like forever. But I thank him. I thank him. I thank him. I thank, thank him. You, I thank him because he's working. Yes, he is. Even when you don't see him working. Come on, when you can't trace him, he's still working. Amen. And I thank him because he always shows up. Never sleeps. He Amen. always shows up when always I need him. Shows he knows. Up. And he tells me that he's there. Yes, he is. So I'm never walking alone. Yes. Come on, you're never walking alone. Amen. You're never walking alone. Amen. I don't know if you ever saw that um, poem, but it was saying they saw the footprints in the sand. Mm -hmm. And then they only saw one set of footprints. First it was two, then they saw one. And he said, when you saw the one, it wasn't yours. Amen. <laughs> it was mine. Yes. But I was carrying you. So I give God the praise because he's carrying me. Yes, Is God is. carrying anybody today? Amen. Hallelujah. I would not be able, able to make it without God and without him on my side. Yes. Let's go to the word of God. And we're going to start, uh, turn your Bibles to Proverbs 3, familiar passage, verses 5 through 6. And it says, trust in the Lord yes. with all your heart Amen. and lean not into thine own understanding. Verse 6, in all thy ways acknowledge him. Oh, yes. And he shall direct your path. Now go with me to Matthew, the 13th chapter. I'm sorry, the 14th chapter. Just a minute. Matthew, the 14th chapter, verse 29 through 31. And it says, and he said, come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water Amen. to go see Jesus, to go to Jesus. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid. And beginning to sink, he cried, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him yes. and said unto him, O thou of little faith, yes. wherefore didst thou doubt? And the word of the Lord is blessed. Amen. The Good News translation says for Proverbs 3 and 5, it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Mm -hmm. Never rely on what you think you know. Remember the Lord in everything you do. And he will show you the right way. Amen. Remember the Lord in what? Some of the things in you everything do. Everything you do. In everything you do. And he will show you the right, right way. way. How many think you already know the right way? But it's him that will show us Amen. the right way. Amen. The Message Bible says, trust God from the bottom of your heart. That's right. That means I trust him with all that I have. Don't try to figure out everything on your own. Right. Listen to God's voice in everything you do Amen. and in everywhere you go. For he's the one. Come on, he's say the he's one. the one. He's the one. Who will keep you on track. Yeah. Who needs to be kept on track? Hallelujah. He's the one yes. that will keep you on track. Let's just go one more. The Amplified version says, lean on. Lean on. Trust in. Trust in. And be confident yes. in the Lord. Yes. With all your heart. Oh, yeah. And then I like this part. It says, and your mind. Yeah. Yeah. And do not rely on your own insight. My God. And your own understanding. Yes. I, I just love that. And so the other verse gives us an example. And we'll talk about that in a minute. It gives us an example of Peter and how he allowed some things to get him 
off track. So my, 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 my sermon title on this morning is Stay Focused. Stay Come focused. on, can you say stay focused? Stay focused. Yes, yeah, stay focused. So to stay focused, you must be completely convinced in the fact that you will not go wrong. Because why? God is in control. He's in control. Come on, to stay focused, you must be completely convinced. In the fact that you will not go wrong. Because what? God is in control. Yes, he is. And so if he is in control, he will direct me. Yes. Focus goes hand in hand with trust. If you trust a process or a thing, come on, you will stay the course. Amen. The scripture says trust what? In the Lord. Yeah. It didn't say trust in the process or anything. It said trust, which means to believe. Believe in it. Believe in the Lord. The Lord. Right. For example, you trust or you believe that after completing training or courses or classes, you believe that you're going to receive a degree. Amen. A diploma. That's right. A certificate. Yeah. So what do you do? You stay focused. Amen. Right? Amen. Because you know that when you stay the course, there is a promise. promise. So you don't trust in yourself. You're trusting in the fact that this is fact. Amen. How do you know that the Bible is true? Amen. And every other man is a what? Lie. So therefore, I can trust him. I can believe his word. And I can be confident. So therefore, I do what? I stay focused. When you stop believing in something, it's hard to focus. Mm -hmm. It's hard to listen to. You know, let me tell you, a father that has betrayed their children over and over, and then they try to come and give them some advice, it's hard to listen to that, they isn't don't, it? They don't. It's hard to trust. Yeah. It's hard to believe. Yeah. <laughs> but God has never let us down. He has yeah, never man. given us a reason to doubt him. Yeah, that's right. So trust is a firm belief in the reliability, say he's reliable. He's reliable. In the reliability, in the truth. Come on, and in the ability. Come on, say he's able. He's able. To do. To do. Exceeding. Exceed. Abundantly. Abundantly. Above. Above. All I can ask. Uh, yeah, or think. Or think. Yes. So I have a firm belief that he is able. And yes. that he is reliable. Yes. And that he is faithful. Yes. The saying, get your head in the game. Have you ever heard that? Mm -hmm. Get your head in the game. Oh, yeah. That means that you're playing the game, but your mind and your head is somewhere oh, else. Uh -huh. Right? Yeah. And so, therefore, you're missing balls when they're throwing them to you. Right? Mm -hmm. You're missing an open shot. Because what? You're not focused. Not focused. Your head is not in the game. Oh, praise God. Praise God. And, and another way that you can tell when a person is distracted, when they're not focused, is because when you do this, you, you start to overthink things. Do you know what I mean? You start to overthink. You start to second guess everything. Because it's hard for you to remain focused, especially when you're not seeing the result that you want to see. And you're not seeing it immediately. You know? You know that old saying was saying, um, move your feet, lose move your seat. Your seat. <laughs> You're like, man, if I just stayed over there. But I couldn't stay focused. So true. So I true. couldn't stay patient. Yes. Things happen that get in your headspace. The enemy begins to speak to you and say, it hasn't happened this long. So it ain't going to happen. Mm -hmm. You didn't hear from God. And that will cause you to become stressed and it will cause you to take matters in your own hands. Become right? Anxious. You yeah. stop looking at what God yeah. said and you start looking at what's around you. Mm -hmm. That's what happened with Peter. Peter was convinced that Jesus was who he was. And when he said, come, he what? He came. Until his surrounding changed. Yeah. The winds came and they became boisterous and he took his eye off of Jesus. The Bible say when he did that, he began to what? Sink. Sink. He began to sink. 
So, you got to trust in the Lord. Believe in God. Believe that he is in control. Come on, somebody, just shout in the atmosphere. Keep your head. Keep your head. In the game. In the game. Come on, it ain't time to throw in the towel. Mm -hmm. It's not time to be distracted. But it's time to stay focused. If never before, the enemy is trying to bombard us. He's trying to bombard us with things. Because why? He wants us to be distracted. My God. Now let's talk about some of the things that stop us from being focused. Number one, and I, well not that stop us from being focused, but I want to help you to stay focused. Let's put it that way. In order to stay focused, you need to let mistakes go. There you go. Oh, boy. That's let right. mistakes let go. go. Yeah. Let them go. Mm -hmm. Come on, say let. Let mistakes, mistakes go. go. Remember, you're not perfect, but guess what? God is. Yes. God is. He is in control because when you dwell on mistakes, it causes you to do what? Set you back. Lose focus. Yeah. More mistakes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It causes you to lose amen, focus amen. and it actually paralyzes you. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. So that you're not moving forward. All right. Philippians 3, 13 through 14 says, Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing mm -hmm. I do. One thing. Forgetting. Forgetting. Those things which That's are it. behind talk to me, talk to me. and reaching Reach forth into those things which are before. That's I it. press yes. toward the mark. In other words, I stay focused, focused. Yeah. on moving forward. Yes. Amen. 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 For there is a prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Yeah. See, the enemy brings up your past to stop you, mm -hmm. to make you feel unworthy. To make you feel uneasy. But John 10 and 10 says that the thief. The thief. Coming. Coming. But for what? To steal. steal kill, kill. And destroy. destroy. But I have come. Uh huh. That you might have life. life. And when you have life, you have what? Vitality. That's it. Come on. You're alive. Yeah. See, when you start thinking about your mistakes and wish I should have, could have. Don't that affect how you feel? Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't feel alive. You mm -hmm. don't feel encouraged. Or you just have joy. a whole bunch of regrets. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. He said, "But well, that's not why I came. I came to keep you focused on the prize. Yeah, you I came to keep you moving you, forward. Yes, I came yes. to give you life. And not just life, but that Wonderful. to the fullest. Yeah. Hallelujah. So when you're not moving forward, the enemy is stopping you. From living life to the fullest. There you go. Amen. Amen. He takes your, he distracts you and takes you off course. Praise God. He knows that if he steals your focus, you will eventually take over yourself. Because mm -hmm. it said trust in the Lord. Lord. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. With all your heart. Yeah. And one of the translations said your mind. Mm-hmm. Because the Bible says, as a man thinketh so is in his heart, mm -hmm. all right, all right, so is perfect. what? So he, is he. All right, so he knows that if he steals your focus, then he's going to steal your life. My God. Come on, say, my life, my life has, purpose. has purpose. I have to stay focused. Have to stay focused. In other words, the example that came to mind was a ship. And we say a ship without a sail. It's like I'm a ship without a sail. I'm no a direction. ship without a compass. No direction. I'm a ship without yeah. no direction. No direction. Mm -hmm. A ship that's what? Lost. Mm -hmm. Because then I'm out there on my own. Mm -hmm. And I'm like a ship. Yes, Lord. Without a sail. Yeah. Come on, say, say stay focused. Stay focused. Because he knows the direction I need to take he knows. to reach the destination he that he has for me. Knows. Come on, can you put your hands together? Yeah. That he knows. To my destiny. So without a sail, come on, this is you out there. Without a sail, that's without direction, without Jesus, without a compass, because I lost my focus. 
Hallelujah. Without a sail, a boat will not move forward. Right. Instead, it'll only, somebody say, drift. Drift. And Woo. then it'll get stuck. My God. And it My gets God. stuck Speaking. in neutral. Lord, have mercy. And even worse, come on, somebody say, it can go overboard. My Lord. It can go overboard. It can capsize. My God. Yeah. And guess what happens? You're drowned. You're sinking there. Yeah. You're sinking. Yeah. So that's why I need to do what? Stay focused. Stay focused. Stay focused. Stay focused. I cannot stress that the more. Stay the focused. Because we see it when Peter stayed focused, he stayed walking on the wall. Come on, he was in control of his destiny because he was being led by Jesus. He was listening to Jesus. And as long as you listen to Jesus, come on, you keep walking. Yeah. You stay afloat. Yeah. You yeah. don't drown. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No matter what's happening to you. My Hallelujah. God. Because when you don't, ooh, glory. Come on. You can turn over the boat. You oh, know, yeah. you can drown. Mm -hmm. yes, right. So losing focus happens when you're caught off guard. Mm. Because you're not focused. So anything can catch you off guard. I imagine if you were in a boat. You won't even see a shark turn. Because you ain't focused. Mm -hmm. You looking at something else. <laughs> you don't even see the pit coming. My, my How many know that when you're with Jesus, yeah. the scripture says he protects you from danger, yeah. seen, seen and unseen. And unseen. Because yeah. yeah. he's in control. Yeah. And when we say danger, seen and unseen, we're not always talking about physical protection, you know, from the elements of people. But he'll protect you from things on your job. Yeah. That you didn't see coming. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He'll prepare you maybe for some hurt or some news that's coming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because why? He's in control. Yeah. I'm trusting him. He's directing me. Amen. Amen. Another another way that you drown when you're not focused is when you doubt. My God. When you doubt. Yeah. In that scripture, God asked Peter. Why did you Why did doubt, doubt me? me? Yeah. Why? Why? Is anybody in here that's doubting God? My God. Help us, Lord. Help us. He said, Why did Why you did doubt? You, you started out real good. Yeah. And then you had to realize you was out there on your own. Mm. Woo. Like and that. he had to holler, mm. Save me. That's it. It's so good that God is not like man. Hey. Because hey. when you betray them, and they say, save me, they do that. Hmm. Let them sink. Let them sink. That's why it happened. <laughs> but he saved him. He saw the sand and saved him. Uh -huh. God is not like man. Hey. Oh, Lord. Although Peter had stepped out yeah. of yeah. faith, God was right there to bring him back in. Somebody clap your hands. Yeah. You might have stepped out and lost your focus. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. you had to say, save me, God. And he was right there. Yeah. Come on, look, that's worth giving him another praise. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I'm glad he didn't leave me to drown in my own mess and my own sin. Hallelujah. So doubting. The other reason said carrying too much weight. Yeah, too much weight. Carrying too much too weight. Much, too much. There's only so much you can carry in a little boat. Mm -hmm. So think about your own self. We're using that as an example. Yeah. I'm carrying. Too much. My past. Mm -hmm. I'm carrying my hurt. Yeah, more than right. Come on. I'm carrying all of this stuff mm -hmm. so I can't focus. Can't focus. I I'm carrying the fact that I haven't been delivered, mm -hmm. you know, from fornication. I'm carrying all, yeah, all this stuff. All that stuff. And I'm still trying to follow. Yeah, mm -hmm. Lord, Come on, Jesus. Help but the scripture Lord. says to do what? Lay aside yeah, every yeah, weight yeah. and the yeah, sin. Yeah. Which does so easily be set. Easily on. cause us to what? Lose focus. focus. That's it. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. That's Jesus. Hebrews 12 and 1. It says, lay aside. Lay aside. Come on, I got to stay focused. I can't have this stuff on, me. Stuff on me. Come on, somebody. You got to go. Got to I got somewhere to go. To go. God is calling yeah. me to a place. Yeah, so I got to let it go. Let Come down. on, shout, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Because it's causing me to lose my focus. My God. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. So it takes our attention. 
and it stresses us out. Yes, it does. Because we're trying to do it on our own. Mm -hmm. We try to do. We are that. trying to do it. We try. To. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. Have you ever heard the cliche that said, "Don't rock the boat"? Oh yeah. Don't rock the boat. Because when you rock the boat, what happens? Things can fall off. I say rock the boat. Because you got some things that need to fall off. There are some distractions in the boat. Look at your neighbor. I'm going to do my husband. Because I told him, don't tell me look at my neighbor no more. I'm just sick of looking at my neighbor. And I'm probably, they probably don't want to do it either. Well, that's all right. That's all But anyway. <laughs> Ask your neighbor, what's in your boat? What's in your boat? What's in there? What's in your boat? What's in there? What's in that boat? Because that could be the very thing that's holding you down. That's the weight that's causing you not to move forward and not to stay focused and not to lean on God. Hallelujah. So, <laughs> for the purposes of this sermon, okay? Hallelujah. You need to rock the boat. Need to rock it. You need to rock Get the boat. The because guess what? You need to be in the plan of God. Yes, Jesus. Everything that's not like God, you don't need carrying it. There you go. You hear me? You need to follow his instructions. Mm -hmm. You need to obey him. Yes, Jesus. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. I'm almost done. Take Hallelujah. I'm done. Amen. Actually, I, I, I said human eyes are not supposed to be glazed on just one object mm -hmm. for extended periods of time. Mm -hmm. Because if you work at a computer, right? Bring it up. You're looking Come on your phone on. Yeah. all the time. Mm -hmm. Then you get eye strain. Mm -hmm. You get what they call digital eye strain. Mm -hmm. And then ultimately, you need glasses. There you go. <laughs> Everybody needs some glasses these days mm -hmm. because of those. The that technology yes, and all this stuff, you know. I look at screens. I, I mean, we looking at everything all the time. I mean, we go from our phone to our computer mm -hmm. to anything digital. Some of our jobs got screens. Where we ain't really got to do a lot, but just dit, 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 <laughs> and we're there. Mm -hmm. But it's actually harming our eyesight. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? It's harming our eyesight. So you can stand on, on your feet. But I began, I said, Lord, let me see this spiritually. Yes. He said, but when you focus on me, Thank you, Jesus. when you focus on me, oh, yeah. come on, you won't experience no strain. Come on, look come out, on, come out. on now. Because he's in control. Hallelujah. So when you focus on him, mm. you don't get no catastrophe. Yes, Jesus. Because he's driving. It's in his eyes. Your eyes ain't being affected. Come on, let him do his job. Somebody said, let him do his job. Let him do his, let him do his job. Let him do his job. But we're straining. Because we're trying to do what only he can do. Thank you, Jesus. All you need to do is look to Jesus. Look to Jesus. Because he is the author yes. and the finisher yes. of your faith. Yes. He knows you better than anybody else. He knows, he knows, he knows. Hallelujah. And he will give you the strength. Hallelujah. Come on, he'll give you the wisdom. He will, he will. He will guide you. Hallelujah. If you trust him. Yeah. Come on, say just trust. Just trust, him. just trust him. Just trust him. Just trust him. Just trust him. God, keep me focused. Yes. Keep my mind, God. Yes, Jesus. Just one thing. Hallelujah. One thing have I inquired of the Lord, and that you, will I seek after. Yes. That I may dwell in the dwell house, house of the Lord. Yes. Come on, the house of the Lord. Yes. The presence of the Lord. Yes. In good standing uh, with the Lord. There you go. There you go. That's the one thing. Come uh, on, say, that's the one that's thing. That's the one thing. I just got to stay focused on that one Hallelujah. thing. You know, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a person that I can, I'm a multitasker. <laughs> I can handle a whole bunch of tasks at one time. I don't know if I'm doing them all good or not. But I know that when you focus on one thing at a time, it has your full attention. Yes. That one thing will come out better than all those things you just gave a little bit over here and a little bit over there and a little. But God says, I want all of it on me. All of it. He said, cast it on. Come on, I want it all of the attention yes. on me. Yes. I want 100%. Yes. And 
Jesus. of God Jesus. wants to help you stay focused. Yes, Lord. Come on, I don't want to keep rehearsing how they hurt me. Come on, that's how you get stuck. Amen. Because God wants to heal you. Amen. So when you focus and you you give it to come him, on, come, on, come, come on. on, he heals you. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he causes you come on. to walk on that thing. That's the word. That's come on, the word. come on, lift That's up your feet and say, I need to walk on the thing. I need to walk on this thing. I need to walk on it. I need to walk the on thing it. that's causing me to lose focus. Hallelujah. Come on, that thing that the enemy keeps bringing up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, God. Oh, God, we trust you, we trust you. We trust you, we trust you, Jesus. We trust you, we trust you, we trust you, Jesus. Thank you for your word, God. Thank you for your word, God. Thank you for your word, God. Help me, help me, help me to trust you. Your way is better than my way. Help me to rely on you. Help me to let you be God. Help me to cause, to cast thought anything that tries to exalt itself above you because that's a distraction and God on this day we decree and declare that we are focused hallelujah 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 we will not miss your plan for us God come on somebody say I won't miss it come on I won't miss it I won't miss it. Come on, say, I will not fail. I will not fail. I will not fail. I will not fail. Because God is with me. Because God is with me. He is directing me. Yeah. He is in charge yeah. of Thank me. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, I'm not in charge of me. Yeah. And my Bible tells me that God cannot fail. He cannot fail. So if he is directing me, Hallelujah. and then if I'm trusting him with all of my heart, and I'm leaning yeah. not into my own understanding, You say, I just have a hard time staying focused. Some of y'all, I can't even read a whole book. How many of y'all can't even read a whole book? Because something else quickly takes my attention. And if you have that problem in the natural, I guarantee you, you have that in the spiritual. How many times, every time you pick up the Bible, it's time you, you get sleepy? I just can't stay focused. Something in there just can't. But God, I want you to give me revelation. I want you to give me a hunger so that I'm staying focused on you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We're just going to sing this song for a minute. And then we're going to offer prayer if you want. You can come on and you will pray.
RW Worship Center is our dollar center. I'm sorry, RW Center is our cash app. Those of you that are watching us live, you can give that way. May God bless you and heaven smile upon you is my prayer. Amen. Come on, let's.